cool. Okay, so this talk is called Blockchain as a Service at Scale. If you don't know, I'm uh, from Dragon Chain. Uh, my name is Dean Shelton. I'm a senior software engineer there. I run the core team. So we actually build the blockchain, the, the Dragon Chain. So uh, if you're not familiar with what it is, it's a, it's a blockchain as a service platform where you can just go to the website, uh, generate a blockchain, and just start interfacing with it. I think like there's no barrier for entry. So it's what I'm really excited about. If, uh, if you don't know, this is me. That's my face. Um, <laughs> been writing code for about 10 years. So uh, I wasn't always a senior software engineer. I started as a junior dev working uh, front end engineering. And I just got interested in, in blockchain. I was working at, at Disney at the time. I've worked at Microsoft and a couple other startups. But uh, I found my way to, uh, to Disney, where I met Joe, the CEO of Dragon Chain. And my interest really turned into excitement after figuring out what he's doing. This is around the time where like Bitcoin was getting crazy popular. And I was getting really excited. Like, There's got to be something here. What about blockchain? What can you actually do with it? Could I do it? Like, That was my thing, is I don't know if I can actually do it. Because I don't know, blockchain just seems like something that's hard to get into. But uh, turns out it's not. Actually, and, and that's one of the things we're doing at Dragon Chain, is try to make it easier for anyone to do it. Because like, if you anyone here written code on uh, Ethereum? Yeah, Ethereum devs? OK, so you guys know what it's like to write blockchain code. And like, there's a huge barrier for entry there. Like, it's always changing. The Ethereum ecosystem is kind of weird. You got to compile your code and push it out to ETH testnet. It gets kind of weird. Dragon Chain does this stuff all the time, and we know how hard it is. So like, can't it be easier? Because I think the dev cycle matters. Like, if your dev cycle is slow, you produce stuff slower. If your dev cycle is fast, you can make stuff faster. You can make mistakes. And we all make mistakes all the time. So like, we want to enable you to make those mistakes as, as fast as you can and recover, right? So how can we do that? How can you like write your blockchain code and not have to push your code out to the test net and leave like an ocean of dead code and bad projects that aren't finished? Like the Ethereum network is meant to just sort of grow forever, which kind of sucks. There's got to be a better way. So at Dragon Chain, we built a public-private blockchain hybrid that lets you keep your data private so you can build your own code, push it up, change your smart contracts whenever you want, and the bonus is you get to do it in whatever language you want. You don't have to learn Solidity. You don't have to learn your own, you know, your own language. You don't have to learn Solidity or any other language. You can just do it with what you're comfortable with. It's kind of cool. So um, a little bit about our managed service product. It's literally like a, like a console, like a, like a website you go to. You can like go here, build your own dragon chain, and start interfacing with it pretty much immediately. Our focus is on interoperability, which if you've ever done any coding for Ethereum, you know is kind of difficult. You want to like, maybe you want your private Ethereum contract to talk to a different private Ethereum blockchain. Like, that's kind of hard. It's actually impossible with the way the virtual machine's set up. So Dragon Chain's giving you a way to write your code in a Docker container, push it up, interface it with whatever public blockchain you want, and execute your own business data. So like, you can write your own smart contracts in minutes. And in fact, I have a demo. I'm going to show you guys how we can create a smart contract in just under two minutes, I think. It's a short video. It's not, not going not to be too long. but. Uh, yeah. Also, high performance, obviously. You got to like, we have to be able to do this at scale. So how is our blockchain going to scale with your needs? So we built this whole thing on top of Kubernetes. Anyone familiar? Kubernetes, yes. So Dragon Chain wasn't always that way. It started off as like a standalone server. So we at Dragon Chain had to figure out how we're going to migrate a standalone system to the cloud and allow people to scale it with, the, with your business needs. So. I'll talk a little bit about how that's put together and, and how we actually do that. But it's really cool. And last, this is the one that I'm big about, developer friendly. Because if we're not friendly to developers, you don't get products as fast. You can't actually make the mistakes and get things out. So uh, that's why I focused on Docker. Why not Docker? Why can't we just write our blockchain code in a container? And you totally can. So a uh, little bit about what Dragon Chain actually is. Very broad concepts here. but like. We have a microservice architecture. I'm sure a lot of people do this like with their, with their apps. But Dragon Chain is no different. We have 
you know, an API server, Redis. We do some of our uh, hashing and signing algorithms here on, on the blockchain. And even uh, there's a little search engine on there to help you get your transactions out of the blockchain. Really easy. This API is actually super easy and fun to use. If you check out our booth, there's a, there's a link you can, you can scan a little barcode, I think, at the end of this. Scan a barcode. You can start writing code on our Python or JavaScript SDKs in just minutes. It's all open source, so you, know, you can contribute even. So I want to start that, that conversation. That's kind of what this is about, is that we can like, start a conversation with devs and figure out what the pain points are and fix them. So yeah, we have everything built right now on top of AWS with COPS sort of managing stuff uh, for like scaling our cluster, getting things bigger. And uh, this is the part I'm really excited about. We have this, this solid line here where we have to take in other people's code. If you're not familiar, this is a thing called OpenFOSS. This is an open source platform that runs functions as a service. It's the exact same thing that, uh, that AWS would allow. Like if you want to use lambdas, that's a function as a service. You just write your code, it runs, and then it dies. We want to do that with smart contracts. So we've used OpenFOS to achieve this and make it super easy. You just use our API, build your app, send it up, and it's in this little OpenFOS cluster that your Dragon Chain can talk to. But there's actually a solid bit of engineering to try to get that to work because uh, we have to take in untrusted code, which is kind of crazy. Like, as an engineer, taking in someone else's code and executing it as like, that came across my desk. They're like, we have to take another people's code and run it. Like, okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> so how are you gonna do that safely? So we've segregated those things physically. So actually, all of people's, uh, all, everyone's smart contracts in the managed service architecture will run in its own environment. So they can't actually directly interface with the Dragon Chain. There's a little, should be a little door there. Oh, man. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, okay, sweet. Yeah, so anyway, there's this segregation there, which is actually really cool, because you can write your smart contracts and send them up. And you can actually, this is what's really cool is, uh, these things are swappable. They're just pods. They run just like any other pod. So you can like write your code, send it up, you can check it, um, get the logs out of it, write your code, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, and I'll, I'll have like time for Q&A and stuff out of this, so. Um, yeah, okay, um, <clears throat> I wanna show a quick demo. I've been mentioning a lot about smart contracts, and um, I wanted to show you a little bit about what that looks like. Oop. Uh, here, let's take a look. I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of small, sorry about that. But uh, here we go. So what this actually is, this is me recording a video just before this, where I wrote a smart contract in one line of POSIX shell. Like, this is not Solidity, it's not even Python, this is just, like bash, it's not even bash, this is just shell. So it takes some input, it adds some numbers together and it creates some output. Basically, your business logic. So you can see I'll, I'll you know, demo some of this. All it is is it cats standard in, uh, does some JQ parsing, and then it uh, pipes it into a calculator. So it adds the numbers together, it's really simple. Uh, so you can see, you can't really see, it's really tiny. But yeah, so I'm just building the Docker container and I'm gonna push it to the public Docker Hub. Now with Dragon Chain, you actually can host your smart contracts in a private Docker re registry, which is really cool. So you don't have to release all your code. As a business, like you don't want everything to be public. Like sure, your consensus and uh, like you want proof of existence. You want that to be public, but not all your code, right? So here, this is me interfacing with the Dragon Chain SDK in Python, um, executing some some commands here to actually invoke my smart contract. Or actually, no, this is creating it. I just created a smart contract. I just push my code up, and now I'm gonna invoke it. This is one command to invoke using the Python SDK. It should give us some outputs. If I stop messing around here. Someday. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the, the output here should be a transaction ID. This is me actually submitting an HTTP request to the SDK and it put something on the blockchain and it gave me an ID. And that was like seconds. So I'm actually interfacing with this blockchain, putting stuff on there, and now I'm gonna get it out. That's really the magic, is how are you gonna get the, get the stuff out of your, of your blockchain? This is the response, you can see the hashed stuff. It responded with a number two 
and it added the numbers two and zero together, which proves that the contract is working. And it's running in a Docker container on a blockchain, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so I think, okay, so that was, that was two minutes. That was me writing, pushing, installing, running, and retrieving data from the blockchain. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, um, I wanna put this link up. So, um, yeah, if you wanna scan this thing, you guys can start building it today. This thing is the, this will take you to the toolkit page that has links to our SDKs, and it'll actually show you how you can start you know, building your own Docker containers and running your business logic on a private blockchain while still using the hash power of public blockchains. It's really cool stuff, so yeah. Go scan that thing and get her started. Uh...